Um, what would be your advice for African aspiring to be immunologists? I think um, the sky is their limit. Um, and it's really, I'm telling you, if you look at, you know, what people are doing uh, all over the world, people who are working on, uh, you know, immunology of, of parasitic diseases and the immunology of host par pathogen interactions or whatever thing, they, one thing that um, the Africans have that they don't have over here is that the, you know, you have, you know, within you access to the to real patients to people who are really um infected with the particular organism that you are looking at and that you have that resources that they don't have uh, in in the western countries they need to collaborate with you so as an aspiring immunologist in africa immunologist in africa if you are if you are really focused the sky is your limit because one people want to have you to come in and train you so that you can go back and be able to contribute um, you know, in tackling infectious diseases in Africa. Uh, number two, and when you do that successfully, they wanna collaborate with you. you know, they wanna collaborate with you because you are there, there are, you, you know what is going on there, you have access to those resources that they don't have. So I think um, if you look at the way things are going now, um, if you, I don't think there is any discipline that has, um, you know, ex exponentially exploded the way immunology has. And if you look at the Nobel Prizes um, in medicine um, over the years, if you look at how many of them are immunology related, you will understand that immunology is really where you want to be. And so for young ones in Africa, I think the sky is their limit. I think they need to understand that. They need to understand that by going into immunology, they are strategically positioning themselves to be leaders of tomorrow and to be and that they have the resources, you know, within them that people are looking for. And that way, um, I think the sky is their limits. 